Hey guys, welcome to my channel. This is Bharat. Today we are going to study about a data structure that will help us in storing data about a subdivision. So, what is a subdivision? Look at the image here. This in this image, the map is segregated into different regions according to the type of rainfall present. So, if you have another map that shows the type of forest present in the same area and if you overlap those two maps you can get uh, like a, a region with intersection of both the faces like you can get uh, if there is any region that has 100 mm rainfall and a forest of pine so in this way uh, the overlapping of subdivision helps us in geographic information systems so we need a data structure that holds us to, uh, holds data about the subdivisions effectively before going on to the data structure I would like to briefly explain about planar graphs planar graphs are the kind of graphs that doesn't have overlapping or intersecting edges as you can see the figure B here this in this graph we have intersecting edges so we, we cannot call it as planar we call it as non-planar but these two graphs we can call these two as planar graph because we don't we, they don't have any intersecting edges so we're going to use doubly connected edge list as a data structure for storing the information about the S subdivision and this is the basic terminology involved in that so I'll, I have already explained you about what are planar graphs so what is a vertex vertex is an endpoint here in this graphs if you are familiar, familiar with graph data structure that uh, it will be very much fam uh, easy to you understand about what is vertex edge face so as I said before vertex are the endpoints edge means a line connecting those two endpoints and face means the minimal uh, combination of set of uh, these vertexes as you can see this is the face this four vertex bonding another face these five vertexes bonding another face let's see that is a face so what is the complexity complexity is the sum of number of faces plus number of vertices plus number of edges so what is the term incident mean I will explain the term incident by just showing the examples here you can see this this vertex and this edge is incident this vertex and this edge is incident in the same way a vertex and the edge which is starting from it or uh, which is ending at it are the incident in the same way this edge this edge and this face is incident this edge and this face is incident this edge and this face is also incident so a face which are bounded by a face and its bounding or any one of its bounding edge are called are also called incident so this is the terminology about uh, variably connected edge list so what are requirements by using uh, this doubly connected edge list uh, what are the requirements about this data structure our requirements is uh, we want to walk around the face this data structure should allow us easily to walk around the face it should also provide a privilege of accessing one face from another face with the help of a common edge and we also want to visit all the edges around the vertex so to achieve this we are going to you know assume certain things about an edge so from now every edge is a combination of two half edges which are completely opposite in direction this those two half edges are called twins so the direction of half edge is placed such that while you're walking in a direction of half edge the, the face you are representing should be to the left of your way so 
this half edge is placed in this direction because while you're going in this way, this face will be to your left. And while if while you're going in this way, this face will be to your left. And we call these two half edges as twins. For this half edge, V is the origin, W is the des destination. For this half edge, W is the origin and V is the destination. The same is uh, now we are going to have uh, we are going to see what are the different attributes that are placed apart from the origin, destination, next and previous to a doubly connected edge list. As it is a doubly connected edge list, we should definitely place next and previous. We got uh, uh, another attributes are origin twin for this this is the twin for this this is the twin and the incident phase so cons for example consider this uh, subdivision that has two faces bounded by these one two three four edges and four vertices so the data, data structure will store the values like this this has three lists the first one is a vertex list. Vertex, we have four vertexes. With, uh, they will show the coordinates of the vertex and the incident edge. For example, for V1, for V1, the incident edge is E11 or E12. So, say uh, the presentation is shown here. In the same way, for we will store the information for all these vertexes. Now, we will come to the face what is inner components and what are outer components outer component stores the incident edge of the outer boundary of a face inner component stores the incident edge of the hole inside a face incident edge of the outer boundary of the hole inside a face that will be very clear if you see this this example here now for this if i for this face the face between this and this edge the outer boundary is this and uh, for whole we, we, we may outer boundary for outer boundary we may store any of these edges for whole we can store any of these edges so in this example also for face F1, we don't have any outer boundary because it's an unbounded face. For this face, this is this extends up to infinity. Does have, doesn't have any edges bounding it. So the outer component is nil. We have an inner component that is this part. So we should place an incident edge of that part that is E11. So this is an inner component and we will place any we can place any of the incident edge of that face so we place d11 we can also place e42 or e e31 that's the same thing we can also place c42 or e31 in the in this at this place so what about f2 f2 has outer boundary and doesn't have an inner hole or anything so we place for inner components null and we can place E12 or E41 or E32 E32 in this place. We place D41 as of now. So in this way we're going to represent vertex and face. And now coming to the main part, doubly connected edge list. This is a doubly connected edge list. We have next and previous, so we can call it as doubly connected. Apart from this, we we got we got, we have stored three more attributes: origin, twin, and incident face. So, for example, for E11, V1 is the origin and V2 is the destination, and E12 is the twin, and uh, F1 is the incident phase. See, for E11, V1 is the origin, E12 is the twin, and F1 is the incident phase. The same way, we're gonna store all the information about all the off edges present there in our graph 
so this is the data structure that is used to represent a subdivision in the next chapter we're going to study about an algorithm that will help us to overlap the uh, two subdivisions thank you very much if you like my content please like share and subscribe to my channel